My name is Randy Swift. I'm an occupational therapist here at the Arc of Monroe, and I'm going to talk with you about gait belts. The purpose of a gait belt is to assist someone while they are ambulating or transferring from one surface to another. The gait belt allows you to have better control over their center of mass, which is located right here on their hips, and keep them safe and steady while they're ambulating or transferring. So when you put on a gait belt, it attaches with Velcro. You wanna make sure that the gait belt is around their waist or around their belly button area. Attach it firmly so that it stays in place, but you still have enough room to put your hand underneath the gait belt to assist someone while you're walking with them. Or you can also grab the handles that are sewn into the back right here. You don't wanna put a gait belt up underneath someone's armpits or below their hips, as this won't provide you with the best support when you're ambulating with someone or assisting them with the transfer. With this Velcro, you have to make sure that it is lined up completely to have the most secure fit. See, this is nice and tight. It will come apart while you're working with someone. But if you attach the Velcro crooked so that it's not completely on the soft part of the Velcro, it won't be as secure and it can come undone while you're working with someone. So make sure that it's nice and snug and lined up properly. In terms of caring for a gait belt, they can be washed in cold water and hung up to dry. But when you're washing a gait belt, make sure that you have the Velcro attached Otherwise, lint and debris can get stuck inside and then it won't be able to attach securely in the future. If someone has a G-tube, make sure that you put the gate belt above the G-tube site so you don't irritate it while you're working with someone.